So I figured for the first topic of random things that uh, I think about and my perception on things is thought I'd give you guys my honest opinion on glitching and where I stand when it comes to glitchers. But before I actually get into the whole topic, I want to make this a little bit interactive. I know it's a lot to ask someone to move around when they're watching a video, but I'm going to ask you guys one little thing. I just want you guys to do something. Everyone watching this video right now, raise your hand. Now that it's up, anytime you hear something that you disagree with, I want you to put your hand down. Everyone ready? Everyone ready for the following statement? And now if you disagree with this, put your hand down. The Holocaust wasn't that bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and guess that a lot of you put your hand down right away. Like, oh god, the Holocaust was awful. Millions of people died. Hitler was an awful person. The whole, the whole thing, they did terrible things to them. So you instantly pull your hand down. And now if you still kept your hand up, one, you're either a troll, or two, you're, you're bad, and you should feel bad. Now a lot of you, as you brought your hand down, you may have even scratched your head and been like, What? does the Holocaust have to do with glitching? And it all makes sense in a bit. I want you to keep what I just said in the back of your head, but I'm gonna move forward and talk about my channel. Now my channel, if you go on it and you go to oldest or most popular or anything, anything regarding to my channel, no matter what game it's been, except for maybe two, I've done a glitch for that game, Division. I posted a glitch. There was only like three videos I did for the Division and one of them was a glitch. I've done nothing but glitches in Call of Duty, and in Destiny, every time there was a glitch when I was actively following it, I, I posted a glitch. If there was a glitch, if there was a way out of the map, if there was a way to get extra XP, if there was a way to trick the system, if there was anything, I posted a glitch on it. So to the common person, they probably look and say, he's an advocate of glitching. And that's where you're wrong. Actually, I, I would like to take a poll. I mean, it's not something that I actually need to do, but I'd be really interested in how many people, before this video finishes, I know we're in the middle of it right now, but before this video finishes, I would, I would like to know how many people actually think I'm a strong advocate for glitching. I'm going to go ahead and guess that a majority of you are going to say yes, that I am an advocate of glitching, and that's where you're incorrect. You can ask anyone that has ever come across me on any of my accounts, Xbox or PlayStation, any of them, especially when it comes to Call of Duty, my friends, anyone. You can ask anyone that's ever ran into me if I've ever been in a glitch. And every single one of them will tell you no. Never in a public game have I ever been in a glitch. I'm, I'm talking down to the combine one where you just jump off the side and you can't do anything with. I haven't even done that glitch in a public match. Every single glitch that I ever record is in a private match, and if it's a zombies glitch, I make sure it's unranked and it doesn't affect the leaderboards, because I'm actually against glitching. Now someone instantly, as soon as I said I'm against glitching, is some troll somewhere down in my comment section is typing right now, then why do you post them? You should probably contact the developers directly. And to you, my trolly little friend, I have a question for you. Uh, if you could, I have a Twitter, I have a YouTube inbox, you can even put it down in the comments. Uh, if you have David Von Haar's direct email or cell phone number, I would really like that, and I'm certain some other people would like that as well. Me personally, I would love to have a job as a QA tester for Treyarch, so that'd be great if I could get that. So if you could put that down in the comment section, because tweeting him on Twitter is not going to get in contact with him. In which that trolly little person is going to say, well, just don't post it anyway. You shouldn't post it. I agree, and I disagree. Remember my question about the Holocaust? Remember when I said, it's not that bad? That's something I totally disagree with. It was a horrible, horrible, horrible event. But why did I bring that up? I'm certain all of you, if someone walked up to you and started talking about World War II or the, the nuke that America dropped on Japan or the Holocaust or the concentration camps, you're not going to wish cancer on that person like you do a glitcher. You don't think that person advocates the Holocaust, you're just interested in the history behind it. When your teacher, Mr. Cooley, in ninth grade started teaching you about World War II and all the terrible things Hitler did and all the terrible things the Nazis did to the Jews, you didn't think he was an advocate of it, did you? Didn't you sit there and be like, Oh, Mr. Cooley, you should get cancer. You're, you're a terrible person for telling me about this. You didn't do that. That's not something you did. You opened your history book, you read about it, and you wrote down answers in probably a packet or something. You didn't question whether or not Mr. Cooley was some sort of neo-Nazi. You were just being informed of something. And that's exactly what myself and my friends and any other glitcher on YouTube does. We're simply informing you of something. But somehow that makes us an advocate. If I'm teaching you something, 
in history, it's okay. But if I'm teaching you something in Call of Duty that breaks it, it's not okay. I see glitching in any game, doesn't matter what game it is, as a necessary evil. Something that I strongly disagree with in public matches, but still do it myself in private matches. Because if I show 5,000 people and Click shows 20,000 people and Coda shows 4,000 people and Cody shows another thousand, that's 30,000 people. And those 30,000 people that we're potentially outreaching to are going to tell two of their friends because they play in a fire team or a group or anything. It doesn't matter what game. They're playing a six-man party or a fire team or they're going to go out and do the raid in Destiny. They're going to tell a couple people. And those 30,000 people quickly become 180,000 people. And those 180,000 people are going to affect thousands upon thousands upon thousands of games. And within those thousands upon thousands upon thousands of games that these numerous numerous people are affecting there's six at least six other people that are now curious as to how this occurred and they're gonna go on youtube and figure out how it occurred so now more people know about it more people know and now it becomes a massive problem let's talk about our favorite map in call of duty splash on day one splash was awful it was a terrible, terrible map because everyone knew how to simply go to a yellow slide, go to a blue slide, go to a pink slide, and press X or A, and magically they're out of the map. Everyone was doing it. What did Treyarch do? They responded accordingly and patched it. Remember our trolly little friend who's like, Yeah, but you posted an after patch. I posted an after patch, and Clicks posted an after patch, and every Call of Duty glitcher posted an after patch to show that they didn't patch it correctly, that they need to patch it again. I go back to my statement that I glitch in private matches because one, hey, this is pretty cool. I can get here by doing this. But also I record it and I show at least 5,000 people how to do it. And those 5,000 people tell their friends and now everyone knows and eventually inevitably gets patched because it gets to enough people and it becomes a big enough problem. In addition, let's think about this. Call of Duty is a very competitive game. People will try hard to win in Call of Duty. Call of Duty is an arcade FPS, and people really, really try to win. That's the whole point of Call of Duty for 90% of the community. And, and the select few members of the community are considered pro players. Now, of those pro players, there's someone that I'd like to point out. His name, uh, what was it? FaZe Clayster. Face Clayster recently got into quote-unquote trouble for using an unintended sightline on the map Stronghold to win against complexity in a Call of Duty World League match, in which was in turn brought to attention to the admins of the said competition, in which they looked, they contacted developers, and found out that it was an unintended sightline and against the rules. But in the past, those creative sightlines, those creative spots, have been seen as something that took skill to get into, that was impressive, that made these pro players seem smarter than the average bear because they, they were able to find things that other players didn't know. They had this little thing that was creative and different. It's okay for them to do that. But for me and my friends and other YouTubers that post glitches, we deserve cancer. And we're the cancer of YouTube.